cutie marks. These magical symbols that lay on ponies' flanks have the ability to change the very destiny of the pony they inhabit. But do they actually limit a pony's talent? So yesterday I was researching some things on ancient equestrian history when I came across a passage about cutie marks. The book mentioned that cutie marks give a pony their special talent, but that got me thinking, do cutie marks also limit the abilities of a pony? There's been so many instances where fillies and colts have been worried that if they get their special talent, it means that they can't do other things. Which really got me thinking about whether cutie marks limit a pony's talents or not. So I decided to talk to my patrons on Discord during our weekly theory discussions and ask them about this. And most of them seem to believe that their cutie marks do in fact limit their own abilities. So I was just going to leave it at that. Another case closed by Ace Attorney Windstriker. Well, that's until someone by the name of, um, the nameless one? Right, well, he jumped in. He really did bring up some good points though. In fact, he argued that a pony's cutie mark doesn't actually limit the pony and that every pony is free to pursue whatever they want. And to be honest, I completely agree with that. But that does raise some questions. For example, if a pony gets a cutie mark in growing carrots, but decides to grow strawberries instead, will that pony be as successful at growing those strawberries as they would have been if they had just decided to grow those carrots? But I guess that's the mysterious question here. So let's compare it to the creatures of your world. All of you have a special talent, even if you don't know what it is yet. Some are great at art, while others are better at games. So if a creature that was great at games decided to draw, would they fail at it? Well, the answer is no. While it would take them longer to learn how to draw than it would if someone was talented at it, they would still be able to reach the same skill level as a professional with enough time. Now, let's put that into the equestrian perspective. If the pony that had a carrot cutie mark decided to grow those strawberries, they'd have a hard time, but they would eventually be able to master it. But that's basically what I think the nameless one was trying to say. And it does really add up when you really think about it. But it leaves so many questions unanswered. Like, why do ponies worry so much about their cutie marks limiting them? Why does a cutie mark grant a pony a talent while others like Gabby can be amazingly talented at a plethora of things? Well, she isn't a pony, but the point still stands. And the final question, what is the origin of cutie marks? All questions I'll have to answer when I get back from visiting Dr. Hoops. He wanted to show me some kind of a new invention that he made using the crystal I gave him. He calls it the pony box or something. Anyway, I also want to thank every creature that's been supporting me on Patreon. Especially my alicorn and creature tier patrons, Princess Sam, Angel of Speed, and a very special thanks to my derpy tier patrons, Skarmex, who says that Spike is the best princess. Yeah, okay, sure, why not? And Trailblazer, who says, Woot Scootaloo! And that's the spirit, Trailblazer. Anyway, if you want to help support what I do, follow me on Patreon. The link is above. Or you can always like, subscribe to my channel, and share the video. Anyway, I'm Windstriker Brony, flying off until next Friday. Hoof to heart.